Hi, Gardener friends. This is Pen from Homesteading with Pen Papa Berry Channel. I know that most of my videos are in Thai, so this video I am going to narrate in English. What you are seeing now are my kaffir lamb seedlings. Most of them look healthy, but there are some that are damaged by spider mites. Spider mites, sometimes called web spinning mites. Spider mites are very tiny. And you almost can't see them with naked eyes. What I have here are my kaffirland seedlings that I start from seeds. A couple months ago, I noticed that some of their leaves are yellowish and whitish with spots. Let's take a closer look at them. I'm going to attach a small macro lens onto my phone, which is like a magnifying glass, so that you can see what the damage from the spider mites look like. Spider mites damage crops by piercing plant cells with their mouth parts and sucking the plant juice on the lower leaf surface. Webbing and tiny little dots moving around on your plants, between stems, leaves, and branches, you got spider mites problem. They breed quickly in warm, dry conditions, which is a problem in the winter, especially when we have heating system runs and dries out the air. So. Today, I'm going to share how to prevent and control spider mites for your house plants. The first thing you should do when you discover spider mites is to isolate the plants or prune them out, and dispose them immediately. And then use one or more of the methods as follows to treat the rest of the plants. My first year of gardening in 2016, before I knew about spider mites, it was too late. My kaffir lamb tree was severely damaged by spider mites, and my whole plant rooms were infested with spider mites. I had to get rid of some of my plants. I got rid of most leaves on the kaffir lamb tree and gave it a shower. Luckily, the plant survived and grew new leaves. Since then, I have been paying attention to my house plants, especially in the winter. So, first is to keep humidity up. Since spider mites like it dry, keeping the humidity around the plants to keep them away, they will drown. So misting your plants often or daily, if possible, especially under the leaves, or setting a humidifier in your plant room to add more humidity to the air will be very helpful. Second is put household chemicals to good use, wrapping alcohol. Use one part of alcohol to three to four parts of water. Third is spray with plant-based magicides, neem oil. If you buy concentrate neem oil, follow the direction of use on the label. I use about one teaspoon of neem oil with one quart of water. One quart is about a liter. Then add a few drops of bleach soap to the solution to spray on plants during the infestation. Wood vinegar. Mix one to teaspoon of wood vinegar with one quart of water and spray the plants often. Wood vinegar is not only helping with deterring pests, but also help to improve plant growth with healthy leaves and support root system. Last, homemade bug spray, which I name it hot spray. I shared this video the other day how to kill scale insects and mealybugs with homemade pesticide. Here is the recipe. 4 or 5 cloves of garlic, 3 hot peppers, 2 tablespoons of red onion, 1 tablespoon of white vinegar, and 1 cup of water. Blend them all together and let it sit overnight and filter the solution. And add 1 teaspoon of dish soap. And then add 3 cups of water to dilute the mixture. Then spray the plants. Trying to avoid the new leaves or make it less concentrate by adding more water so that it does not burn the, the plants, especially the new leaves, which are much tender. So I hope you found this video is helpful. Please like or leave your comment below and subscribe if you would like to see more videos of my gardening tips in English.